Hello friends and welcome back to the channel and today's video is going to be about Pareto principle where we are going to see what is the Pareto principle and what does it actually mean and where you can apply it in your daily life. So the Pareto principle was described by Wilfred Pareto who was an Italian economist and a philosopher and he first described this in his initial work where he said that 20% of the land in Italy was owned by 80% of the people. So he called this the 80-20 rule or the Pareto principle. It is an observation and it is not necessarily holding true in every situation in life. There are many situations however we see in our daily life where we can apply the Pareto principle. Like for example if you want to learn a new language and if you know at least 20% of the core amount of vocabulary of that language then you can understand 80% of the language per se. So you need to know only the core things which are necessary so you can disregard the rest and just keep practicing over a period of certain time and you will learn that new language. So this is where you can use the Pareto principle. Second place where you can use, we see it being used is in businesses where we know that a certain business about 80% of the income which is generated by that business is by 20% of the customers. So if that business is going to target those 20 customers by making them as loyalty customers or by giving them certain special benefits, they know that they are going to maximize their profits because they are targeting the 20% who are giving them their 80% of the profits. The other place where you can use it is in our health. We know that our health, 80% of our health or our diet is based upon 20% of the foods that we eat. So if we can make good choices in our diet, then we can control most of the uh, healthy things which we can eat and that will improve our health. So for example, if you are going to be using say white bread, you can replace it with brown bread. That small change might make a big difference. Other place where we can see it is in our careers, where the careers are usually defined as being Pareto or non-Pareto, where the input and the output may be completely different. Like for example, what is a linear career where the amount of hours you put in a job is equivalent to the amount of salary that you are going to get. So that is a linear input versus a linear output. Whereas a Pareto career or a non-linear career can be where only 20% of the effort which you put is going to give you 80% of the results. So that would be a great thing to have. So for example, a YouTuber or a film producer or a author or a writer, these are all non-linear or Pareto careers where the effort put is very concentrated and dense and it's a non-linear output so they may not work for like whole 24 hours they might just work 8 hours a week or 10 hours a week but then the output they get is non-linear or it is way too much as compared to the input so we all want our careers to be Pareto right so how are you going to get that so you can start off first of all maybe by having a linear job or a linear uh, input and a linear output by using your day job as a steady source of financial income and then as a hobby you can start a Pareto career it can be a YouTube channel or it could be writing something or writing a blog or some sort of an activity which is going to be taking not much time of yours but it is going to give you a non-linear output and it is going to maximize the returns for you. So it is like a hedge you bet against. You try to use your daily career as a stable and as a stable job and then you try to use your free time to develop your hobbies and then develop a Pareto career out of it. So I hope uh, you have learned something about uh, Pareto principle and what is a Pareto career and where you can apply it in your life. So see you in the next video.